Hi there, folks. Welcome to your next lesson. We're going to be looking at the very, very basics of how to use text and work with typography within Photoshop. Some of this I'm going to do a little bit fast. If you don't understand something, pause the video, rewind, fast forward. That is the point of making these videos. Step one, create a new document. Now we've done this twice already, so I don't need to spend a bunch of time. Print eight and a half by 11. Name it. I'm going to call it typo Billy. I'm going to suggest that you use a landscape orientation and the color mode has to be changed to CMYK color if we are printing our work. Create. Here we go. So step one, I need to choose the text tool, which is right here. I want to encourage you to use shortcuts. So T. Now notice when I press T, this cursor comes up and the options above change. We have our font selection right here, the font size, and choosing the color for our text. That's all I want to focus on right now. So step one, you may want to make sure that your text before you even create it is not too big or not too small. 124 will work. And without moving the cursor, I'm going to hit the left mouse button once. Boom. This lorem ipsum text comes up. Don't worry about that. That's just some default text that appears so that we can automatically see words and text. To move this, notice I don't want my cursor to be directly over the text. I need to go above or below. And you'll see the black arrow and the, the move tool again to move it around. Yay. Okay, changing the size. There's different ways we can do this. I can type in a font size. I can click on this arrow and choose existing font sizes. To me, the best thing to do is to hover over this small and large T with the two black arrows. And if I hold the left mouse button down and go right or left, it'll allow me to, to do some finer adjustments. I like this by far the best. If I have the final size that I want, I'm going to hit OK, and we are good to go. Move tool, move it back. Now, if I want to make other changes, I need to press T for the, the text tool again. And this text needs to be selected. There's different ways to do this. If I hover directly over the words with this cursor and double click, half the word or words become highlighted. If I triple click it, one, two, three, everything is selected. So if I only wanted to change the color for one word, that would be how you would do it. Once you have a bunch of text and different assets in a document, it becomes a little bit awkward to do it like this. So for me, the easiest way to do it is to come back to the layers menu and to double click directly on the T. Boom, select it. Okay, color. I'm going to click on this box in the options bar up here and the color picker will come up. I can click anywhere in this area to get thousands of different types of shades. I can move this slider up and down. Now, tons of options here. Sometimes I like to make things a little bit more simple and you can do that by clicking on swatches right here and they just have some pre-existing colors. Okay, hit OK. Boom. We're good to go. Okay, the last thing that I now want to show you is how to change the font. This is one of the most important aspects. So I'm going to double click on my text. And you know what? At this point, let's write your name in there. Make it a bit more fun. Right here, we have various different types of fonts and styles. The very basics are as I hover over these different font styles, I have many, many, many different options. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller 
and move it over here. So that when I click on the font menu, you can see what's happening. So dependent on the information you're trying to communicate and whether it's a paragraph, a sentence or a headline, that's all gonna dictate what type of style a font you wanna use. And there's some really, really cool ones here. So let's just, let's go Banco. You may be familiar with the, the Thrasher logo. Banco is the text that is used for the Thrasher logo. So I'm gonna choose that for now. Let's say, even though there are hundreds of different options here, you can't find a font that suits your purposes. We have more options. The easiest way to do this is to utilize Typekit. You can download all sorts of fonts from the internet, but on our school computers, we, we can't uh, we can't actually download them and install them. But we can if we have your Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app open, which is always what I want you to open first. And we go to our fonts menu and click on Typekit. Typekit's going to take us to a completely different website on the internet. I don't think it's actually called Typekit anymore, even though it says that. It's now called My Adobe Fonts. Basically, we can choose from a bunch of different options, write some sample text in here, choose different classifications, which I'm not going to talk about at length. Um, but obviously decorative looks more decorative. Black letter kind of looks a little bit darker, evil, uh, medieval, old school, all sorts of different things you can do. I'm going to choose decorative and I'm just going to find a cool new font that I like. Hmm. Let's choose, let's just choose echo. So I'm going to click view family. And if this is indeed one that I want, all I have to do is click on activate font, hit OK. And you're going to notice it automatically gets installed into Photoshop just like that. So remember eco. Back here. And if everything has worked correctly, if I go to my fonts menu, you're going to see echo. Bada bang, bada boom. That is the basics of using text in Photoshop. There's some other real cool things I'm gonna show you in the next video. Thanks.